Welcome back troops to the latest edition of Sam Watch Live. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 10th scale Kotobukiya Darth Vader Artifacts Plus figure. Um, this figure is titled The Return of Anakin Skywalker. Uh, obviously going back to the moment when uh, Luke was trying to haul his father away to safety and Darth Vader asked to gaze upon his uh, son with his own eyes and nobody could forget that. Uh, this figure does its best to capture the essence of that in a uh, unique yet affordable scale. Um, it has several different display options, the arms, uh, you can swap them in and out. Uh, real simple packaging here guys, I mean we're going to get into the nitty gritty here in just a second and we're going to show you the, the details, but something that I really like, uh, you know our friends at Kota Wakia celebrating that 60 years of excellence, they do something that, that some high end collectible companies do not, is they provide us with directions. So therefore, guys like me have absolutely no chance at breaking the stuff when you do get it. So we're going to crack this thing open, get it ready to display, and we're going to see what you guys think about it in the nitty gritty. Come on, troops, let's check them out. Okay, troops, we got Darth Vader assembled with, with just a matter of seconds. Uh, one thing I want to point out I really like about the Artifacts Plus is the magnetic base keeps the figure from toppling over. They do a great job with that. Um, and another thing, after you quickly assemble Lord Vader here, torso, body, get everything together, he snaps together real, real fast. But um, the thing I like the most about it is you can just do one little thing. You know, the, the head, you can just turn it and bam, you've got different poses. Um, he, he looks really, really good. They did a real good job uh, doing some detail work on the belt and the chest plate, uh, the boots. Very, very nice job. He, he looks just as you saw him in Return of the Jedi. I'm going to spin him around here just so you could get a real quick look at him from front to back. But again, just a great looking figure. Um, the blade comes right out of the hilt just like that. And there again, you've got another display option. There, there, there's many, many possibilities with this thing, uh, but if you do want to start taking off the arms and seeing the different looks, you just pop the head off. It's hinged right there. Uh, the cape snaps on the back. There's a couple tabs right here. There's a couple things right there in his chest. And then, again, guys, the only other really work to this thing is it comes off at the torso there, snaps right back in. Very simple. Uh, we're going to Leave this in here though, actually I wanted to show you the... Next option. And there you have it. He, uh, you know, he looks like he's just about to, you know, take on his son in that last battle on, uh, right in front of the Emperor but again just a great looking you know menacing Sith Lord um, just a matter of seconds you've got another display option and uh, real quick we're gonna slide into the other set of arms here we're gonna take off both pairs of arms on this this time we're gonna slide the blade right out of there real quick This is more of a downswing stroke he's putting on here, but you just slide it right in there. And voila, oh, actually a little backwards there, guys, but get what I'm doing. And it does, it fits nice and snug, very secure there. And bam, you've got another pose. You know, you can look up or down left right and you, know, you, you can get all kinds of you know crazy looks with Darth Vader and I think that's one thing you know collectors want is options you know, we're gonna finish out we'll give you one last look here at the uh, alternate head sculpt too on this one guys this is something that I think is just really cool again for the one tenth scale the likeness of Sebastian Shaw was just simply incredible. Very remarkable likeness of Sebastian Shaw. But as you see there, guys, you can, again, 
you can you know get some different looks and you can turn them around and do different things with them and again for the many many things you can do with them uh, I think it's just a great figure overall Overall troops, I would say the Darth Vader Return of Anakin Skywalker Artifacts Plus figure is just fantastic. Uh, whether you've been collecting the line for a while, it, it, it would be a must-have or it would be an awesome place to start. Uh, our friends at Kota Bakia were kind enough to donate a couple Artifacts Plus figures to our uh, battle station operations. We encourage you to come out to C2E2 and uh, see what we're going to uh, have in our raffle in addition to these great prizes. Uh, speaking of those powerful friends that are supplying us with great prizes, prints like these, artwork from our friends at Rolling Thunder, Dave Dorman, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, I got another... Um, tube in the mail the other day from uh, who's, Joe Caroni. So again, the prizes are stockpiling every day. We're putting something awesome together. And uh, thanks to good friends like Kota Bukia who are celebrating 60 years of greatness and who have been tremendous supporters of us, the fans, and done a great job with the Star Wars line. We appreciate everything that you've done for us. Again, troopers, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you can, leave some positive comments in the box below because we love hearing from you guys. Until next time, troops, I'm Dar Spice. You are still so very glad you're not. United we find. I'm out of here. The force is strong with sandtroopers.com. Indeed.